What can I help you with? Uh, I've got what I hope is a piece of continental currency from 1776 I'd like you to look at. Oh, this is very cool. Do you know anything about it? I saw online that if it's real, it could be worth up to $10,000. No, it, not up to $10,000. OK. <laughs> up to like half a million dollars. Are you serious? This is one of the most desirable coins in the United States. I actually found the coin in my house. I'm a history teacher, so immediately when I see things that look historical, I have peaked interest. I'd like to sell my coin today because I'm not really a coin collector, so I'd rather have the money. Where did you get this? I bought my house, and I got to keep all of the stuff that was in it. This is one of those things. That's cool. It's basically our first coin. In 1776, we declared our independence from Britain. And there's certain things you have to do to be considered a nation. Mm -hmm. And one of those things is to actually mint your own coin. They had to mint these coins in secret because with British law back then, to mint currency was the equivalent of counterfeiting. Counterfeiting was a capital offense. You could get hung for it. Wow, that's crazy. This coin was partially designed by Benjamin Franklin. Cool. And it's just got classic Benjamin Franklin things on there, like uh, on the front of it, it's mind your own My, business. Yeah. Something he would definitely say. Has all the 13 colonies mm -hmm. on it, and on the back, we are one. Having one of these coins in good condition would be huge. We're talking big, big bucks, but I have to make sure it's real. Have you had this checked out by anybody? No. OK. The ones you see online that sold for $10,000 literally look like they were ridden over by a truck. The price goes up exponentially, the better shape it is. And this one's in pretty amazing shape, which is something that scares me. Continental currency coins are probably the most faked coins okay. in America, because it's one of the most desirable coins that people collect. This thing's in amazing shape. But there has been uncirculated ones that these sold. And there's a really simple way to tell if it's real. These were made out of pewter, which is a very lightweight metal. The first thing you want to do is make sure it weighs right. Okay. So um, right here, I got a scale. All right. Fingers crossed. <laughs> a real one of these weighs between 15 and 18 grams, okay. right, right in that neighborhood. Ready? I think so. <laughs> 27.4. You have a really pretty <laughs> replica coin. I wish I could do something for you, but it, it's just not real. Thanks for bringing it in, though. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I was disappointed, but the hope was there for a moment. I guess I'll just hang on to my coin and show my students what continental currency does look like, since it's a decent fake, so. <laughs> wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95, and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.